I'm Ken Rockwa. Let's look at what B&H has sent me. I've been buying from B&H since the 1970s. Let's see what the FedEx guy just dropped off. I think I know that it is the Canon RF Macro, but it could be anything. Could even be a mistaken order. I don't know, but let's open it up live here on TV and see what we got. I've been buying my goodies from B&H since the 70s. Let's see what we got here. Ha-ha! <laughs> Beautiful job of packing. And we got... Ah! Just what I expected. It looks like the Canon RF macro lens. Yes, indeed. And let's see what we got inside. What do we get here? Look at the paperwork. Made in Japan. Thank goodness. Professional quality manufacturing. Any other fine print to watch here? Device complies with part 15. Here's our parts and accessories, case and hood. Okay, let's see what we got. Again, this should be a quick video. Ah, I've been getting these same red, pink, and white warranty cards. I think the first kind of product I bought back in like about 1980, which is about 40 years ago and then some, was a Canon QLG317, which is a 35 millimeter rangefinder camera. Came with the same kind of warranty, except the address was in late success for Canon. The important thing is that it says Canon USA Inc. You see? Legitimate USA product. If you don't get this printed card, you got ripped off. And that's assuming that you are in the United States. The only other paperwork I'm seeing is this multi-part sheet. And it is an instruction book for the lens, which we will read later. This isn't the review. The review's up at KenRockwell.com, and we'll eventually make it here to YouTube. Let's see what we got. We got a case, okay. One of these guys you can and shooters are familiar with is the LP-1222, which is a suede or suede-like or equivalent or, or cow-free suede or what do they call it, leather-free leather or whatever it is. I'm not sure what this is. Why don't we look at them a little more closely? You know, it's fuzz. It doesn't have a lot of padding, but it's fuzz. You put your lens in here. You've got a drawstring. I don't know if anybody who's ever actually used these. I think the only people who might use them if you're a backpacker, instead of carrying a padded camera case, throw the lens in here, Pull the draw. Oh, here we go. It works like this. Pull the drawstrings, chuck it in your bag with your toothbrushes and your pans and everything and stoves, and you're good to go. Honestly, I've never used those. I keep them in the box for resale time. If we open up this guy here, ah, just like a real lens. This is closed cell foam. That means when you drop it off a helicopter or off a bridge, this stuff does a really good job of protecting things. It doesn't just get wet and smush. Bottom of the box. This plastic bag. Notice this is totally unsealed. So again, if you bought from an unauthorized dealer, not one of the dealers on my list, you might get a product that doesn't match. You need to check the serial number. Ah, here's the serial number here. Make sure that that serial number matches the one on your warranty card and on your box. We've got our hood with a little bit of padding. What does the hood look like? Ah, this is a first-class hood. It's got a locking pawl, so this beast is not going to come off. Quality product made in Japan, not offshore someplace else. God bless Canon. That's why I prefer to shoot Canon myself for all my personal work. I mean, I sort of buy and use everything because you people won't let me not buy Sony and not buy Nikon. But when it comes to what I grab when I have something to shoot for myself, it's always Canon. Pride of ownership. Cap made in Taiwan. These caps are cool. These caps, the RF caps, I discovered quite by accident they fit in all the EF lenses. So for those of you who are well off, simply throw away all the EF caps and buy a bunch of these RF caps, and they'll fit all of your lenses regardless of mount. Oh, full complement of switches. Focus limiter, which I don't use these, but some of you might. Auto manual focus switch, thank goodness. Stabilizer, thank goodness. It's a real lens. Interesting. It's got little marks here. It's got three of them. I don't know what that's for, unless it is for a tripod collar and I wouldn't put it past them that it wouldn't be a tripod collar we've got a lock what is that lock hold on there's no zoom on this maybe it locks focus ah that locks the spherical aberration control in English known as the bokeh control this lets you optimize bokeh either in front of or behind of the actual plane of perfect focus you've got Typically, this would be your focus ring, and this is an additional control ring, which you can program on your camera to be pretty much whatever you want. The optics here, we'll see what this does when it's actually on the camera, again, in the full review. Anything to see here? Lots of glass. This is a, not a heavy lens. This is a relatively lightweight lens. I'm sure it's got plenty of plastic in there. 
But Canon does what they're, <laughs> knows what they're doing and doesn't cheap out on the plastic where it's actually necessary. In other words, they put the plastic where it'll get you some weight benefits, but don't put it where it's needed for strength. And that's it. Thanks again for watching Ken Rockwell, kenrockwell.com, here on kenrockwell.tv. I'll see you in the final review of this next time.